Okay, so we're going to find the relative extrema of this problem using the first derivative test. So the first thing we need to do is find the first derivative. But remember, that's not why this is the first derivative test. So when I take the derivative of f of t, I get 2 thirds t to the negative 1 third, which I'm going to rewrite as 2 over 3 t to the 1 third. So now I'm ready to find my critical numbers. First, I start by finding the stationary point where f prime is set equal to 0. So I set the 2 over 3 t to the 1 third equal to 0. But this can never equal 0 since there is no variable in the numerator. Now I want to find my singular point. This is where the first derivative is undefined. That means I need to set the denominator equal to 0. And so I take 3t to the 1 third, the denominator, and set it equal to 0. Divide by both sides to get the t alone. Sorry, divide both sides by 3 to get the t to the 1 third alone. And it still ends up being set equal to 0. But now I need to solve for t. So I cube both sides of the problem, and that leaves me with t equals 0. I now have my first critical and only critical point. And I double check it's in the domain, and since my domain is negative infinity to 1, it is in the domain. So now I'm ready to use the first derivative test by testing points that are around my critical number in the first derivative. I always like to start by drawing a number line from negative infinity to positive infinity and putting my critical numbers on top in order, but there was only one this time. So now I need to pick a test point on both sides of zero. So my test points are negative one and positive one, both in the domain. I need to test them in the first derivative, so f prime of negative one gives me negative two thirds and f prime of positive 1 gives me positive 2 thirds. Now I'm ready to look at those results and decide whether I have a relative max or min. Because negative 2 thirds was negative, I am decreasing on the left of my critical number. And because f prime of positive 1 was 2 thirds a positive number, then I was increasing after my critical number. And so this tells me I have a relative min. If I went from walking downhill to uphill, I just walked past a minimum point. So the next thing I need to do is find the ordered pair so I can complete my answer. My critical number was zero. I plug zero into the original function, not the derivative. It's not defined in the derivative, but in the original function. And when I plug zero in, I get zero out. So now I can answer. I have a relative minimum at zero, zero. Now I'm ready to graph. We already knew that 0, 0 is a relative minimum. I found my endpoint x equals 0, or sorry, t equals 0, plugged it into the function to get 1, 1. And then I needed any other point that was in the domain to help me continue the graph. So I picked t as negative 1. You could pick negative 2, negative 15, whatever. But when I plugged negative 1 into the original function, I got negative 1, positive 1, and graphed.